What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now if you remember last week I covered a lot of topics based on the new Xbox One update that was released. Um, a lot of questions I asked, oh, sorry I was asked, I answered. Um, this is my last question I was, I've been asked quite a lot so I thought I'd better make a video again to make it easier for you guys to understand. Um, the question is basically how do you connect an Xbox One to a PC or laptop for streaming. Um, basically there's two things you need, or maybe three depending on what system you're running. Um, firstly, you need to have a Windows 10 running operating system. So if you don't have a Windows 10 PC, you need to either upgrade or well, you basically can't do it, so you need a Windows 10. Um, if you're running a Mac, you need to download something called Parallels, which is sort of like, um, it's just like a, it converts Windows 10 to be able to use on a Mac PC or laptop, so you can actually use the Windows 10 streaming service with your Xbox. But the Parallels thing you can actually either get as a 14 day trial in case you're not sure whether you want to do the whole streaming thing or if you know you're going to use it for Mac then obviously you can buy it straight out. Um, the only other thing you need to do is to make this work you need to be an Xbox preview member. Again it's come back to that so um, obviously if you're not a preview member either message someone you know is and maybe they'll send you a link to be able to be a preview member as well if not you will have to wait until 2016 like the Cortana update that I mentioned in previous videos until everything is finally released and finalized because unfortunately everything is in beta stages at the minute so um, unless again you have a, if you have a Windows 10 PC and you are a preview member you will be able to do this and all you need to do is either use an Ethernet cable from your console to either your laptop or PC uh, to get a connection or you can use a home wireless network to connect your Xbox all you will need to use is your Microsoft sign-in so um, you can stream straight away from your console to your PC or laptop but you have to be preview and you have to have Windows 10 if you've got a Mac like I say make sure you download Parallels and you can use the Windows 10 version for Mac um, I hope that sort of made sense and helped out the guys that were asking me the questions because a lot of people again were sort of like the Cortana situation they expected it to sort of be released all at the same time so that you could use all these different things when it was actually uh, launched last week for the update but unfortunately Microsoft keeping things back until things are ready which I guess makes sense but then if you sort of listen to all the hype you got about it you were expecting everything on the same day so it's kind of disappointing but all you got to do is wait a little bit longer um, so yeah if that helped obviously leave some likes and stuff on the video um, massive thanks to the subscribers recently you're amazing um, Leave some comments if you want any more questions answered or more videos, more shout outs, whatever, and I'll see you next time.